Hey everybody, welcome back to Tins Tinker Time. Today we are doing a diamond painting unboxing. So my husband actually surprised me with this. I kind of knew he was getting it. I guess I did see the picture, but he was trying to surprise me with this. I've not opened the bag yet though, and it just came in today. So we're gonna open it and see what's inside. This one came, he ordered this on Amazon. I don't know the exact store really or the name of the diamond painting. I didn't see all the details. I just, I kind of knew about it, but he picked it out on his own. Something that he really liked. So I figured I could do it for him. All right. So this one is a 30 by 40 size. It has 19 colors. Oh, this is so cute. We'll look at the canvas first. It's a raccoon with these purple flowers. This is adorable. He loves raccoons. So what I do to try to help flatten it out, just pull the plastic back and it's sticky underneath. You just kind of check, make sure it's sticky. And I love this that has symbol key on both ends. So there's one up here and there's one down here. That makes it nice and easy when you're working. So no matter what area you're working on, you can see those symbols. This is cute. The symbols look pretty clear. There might be a few bubbles in the glue, but I don't think this is very expensive. But it's super cute. I absolutely adore this. I'm excited to do this one for him. I haven't done a diamond painting. Well, I've been working on one at work, but it's a little bit bigger one. It's taking me, it's taking me a while and I kind of took a break from it because it's a lot of, um, it's just black and white. There's a skull in the middle. So it'll be fun to do one with a little bit of color. Although the raccoon is going to be kind of a darker color, but it'll be fun to do these purple colors. We'll look at the diamonds, but this actually came with a key. Some of it's foreign. This one actually has the DMC numbers. So this is something that you, you kind of get with cross-stitching. Um, the colors go by a number. Most of them are going to be DMC. It's like the brand of thread and they give it a, a, the color a number. These DMC numbers for diamond painting correspond with the same colors for a cross stitch. So if you wanted to do this as a cross stitch, you could use this, you know, as a pattern and copy it or something. I don't know. You probably can't do that, but <laughs> copyright laws, I don't know. But anyway, those match and then it gives you all the symbols and the numbers and this is probably some sort of weight or something they use to measure it. And you have a little thumbnail of the picture there. Cute. Let's take a look. So they're in little individual bags with the numbers on them. Oh, this might be the number of bags of each color then. It makes it nice to do like a little bit of inventory. Let's look at the colors. Some darker colors, like a purple. This light pink, gray. The diamonds look nice. It is a round diamond, so these are round diamonds. They don't look all mixed up or anything. Sometimes you'll get, and it's not a huge deal, but you'll get like a random colors mixed in with other ones. These actually look really nice. There's 
I don't see anything mixed up. Look at this purple. Oh, that's so pretty. My friend at work is going to love this one. Her favorite color is purple. This is cute. These diamonds are really pretty colors. Purples. Ooh, I like that one. And they're not... You don't have a lot of extras. The diamonds look good. They don't have a lot of holes in them or anything like that. Usually you always get extra, so it's not a huge deal. But some people look at that. And of course, you always get your tools. This is just a basic tool kit. It's got the green boat and your pink wax that you put in the bottom of your pin there. And then it did give you a couple bags. You don't always get little baggies, which I have my own. I use this sometimes with storage. There's a lot of stuff you can use. As long as it has little sealable individual containers, you could use it to store. I really use this just while I'm doing a painting, especially something not so large like this one. And this is the normal size that I like to do. If I get bigger than that, it's, I don't know. It takes, it just takes a little bit longer, which is fine, but I like these ones. They're small. They're not, they don't take too long and you still get enough detail in them, but I use this for my storage. So, but a lot of people just use, I, for the longest time I did, I got that from, um, as a gift from somebody, my parents, I believe. And these baggies I use for a long time. I just put, get a Sharpie, put the number on it, put the, I would even write the symbol if it wasn't something crazy, which these are mostly letters. There's a, like a dot, but that one wouldn't be too hard to draw on here. I did that for a long time, I still do. It just depends on what painting I'm doing. I'm so excited to do this one. It's so cute. I love this raccoon. This is adorable. And the canvas seems pretty good. There is a few wrinkles like in the glue, but nothing that's not huge wrinkles or little bubbles. Just maybe from getting bumped against something during pack, like shipping or packaging or something like that. But this is so cute. So what I'm going to do, we'll show, um, since this not take that long to show you this, I'll show you how I start my storage piece. So I mentioned it's got two on here. I like that because I can cut one of them off and I'm not going to lose one of my symbols. I don't really need it on here. I'm going to put it on my containers. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to use this one at the bottom. I'm just going to cut move this over here. I'm just going to cut this symbol key off of this end. Careful not to cut into your diamond part. There's a little bit of extra glue on the ends. But I'll show you what I do for that too. So this is really just me how I set up my diamond painting, which I have found works best and it's less time consuming this way instead of writing your numbers on everything. So what I do, I just got one of my containers here. It just has a little flip tab and these little containers actually hold, with these small bags, it's going to hold these with no problems. Um, sometimes you'll get the larger bags. Those ones, I can fit at least three, like, really full bags in this container. So, it actually holds quite a bit, I think, for, I mean, this doesn't take up a lot of space, so. But what I do is, of course, I got to find my symbol, my DMC number, which is on here. So number one is going to be 
Z. I need to find the bag that says 154, which has actually happened to be right on top of the pile. So what I'll do, I'll just set the diamonds aside so I have them ready. I'm going to cut this number off. And it has that sticky on it. It's sticking to me. We don't need that at the top. So it's just this. Just a little one. And it's got the symbol Z. So I know what symbol I'm looking for while I'm doing my painting. And some simple piece of tape, which <laughs> this one has not even started yet. A little bit of tape. I just stick it on here and I like to put mine on the side because when I sit them inside of the container I put them that way you can see them standing up in there so I like to put my label on the actual side of the container it's easier for me to find when I'm ready for it and you just fold the tape down So then you have your letter, your symbol, and then you just cut open these bags. I like to do, I don't know, everybody has their own system. That's with anything that you do. You find the easiest way for you. I like to cut all of them apart. And with this type of container, It's easy enough to cut and you can pour easily more than one bag, especially with these ones. These are sm the smaller bags, so you have more to open. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through all my symbol. I'm going to put all my diamonds away and I will be back with you after I get that done. And I'll show you, um, I don't know if I have my washi tape with me, but I'll come back and I'll show you what all my diamonds look like. And I'll t tell you what I do for the sides where the glue is. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. So, what I've done, I've gotten all my diamonds put in my case here. You can see them all labeled. And let's see, some of the colors that I have the most of, I think this one had like four bags, but look. There still isn't very much in there. So and that was one of the colors that I had the most of on this painting. So I got all of that done and ready to go. And this is so much faster just to cut these, tape them on, dump your diamonds in, done. So the next thing I do when I'm going to start a diamond painting is I use this washi tape because... The glue hangs over on the side so your painting stops where that black line is but you can even see a little bit the shine on that you can see that glue running over I like to cover that because it just gets stuff stuck on it and you get your shirt stuck in it or something and what I like to do just pull the plastic back some and I just pull out my washi tape to the length that I need tear it off there and since this kind of runs off the side because I cut that symbol list off I'm gonna get it as close as I can I'm gonna leave a little bit on the edge and I'm just gonna tuck it under but along the bottom edge just want to get it close as close as I can to 
the bottom line where the diamonds stop. And then I'm just going to tuck this one under here. So I like to do that. I'll do that all the way around. So like see how I got like fuzz or something and it likes to get stuck on there. So um, I just wanted to show you guys that because that's the last thing that I do to really prepare. I got my diamonds ready. That's what I do to prepare my canvas is put my washi tape on. If it's a partial, I don't usually need to do that. Only when it's a full diamond. So the full diamond means the whole picture is diamonds, not just part of it. It's kind of self-explanatory, but partial is only when it's part of it. So those ones as special diamonds are only partials. Those ones I don't normally do. I don't normally have to put the tape around it. Sometimes I do it just because it makes it look cute, but um, I do that. So that's it for today. Got that diamond painting ready to go. Um, I'll start working on it. If you guys would like to see a little how-to or maybe a little bit of diamond painting with me, we can do that. And then I can just show you some progress on it. I'm so excited to start this one. It's so cute. I'm glad he picked this. I think he's going to love it when it's completely finished. This is an adorable one. And I've never seen this particular picture before. I don't know. I look at a lot of stuff. Most of mine I'll get from either Amazon or AliExpress. AliExpress is cheaper, but everything ships from China. So I've had one painting that never did show up. I did get my refund and everything for it, so it's not a big deal, but it was one that I hadn't seen that picture of anywhere else. And I've never, I've looked at a lot and I don't know if I've ever seen this little raccoon one. So it's super cute. And these, um, these are little succulents too. It makes it so much better. I'm super excited. All right. I'll let you guys go. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.